All right, hello and welcome to Beginning Stock Trader. Today's lesson is going to be on the MACD indicator, also known as the Advanced Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Don't say that five times fast, and just forget I ever said it, because everyone just calls it the MACD. And it's a surprisingly easy technical analysis indicator. It has a really good reputation for getting good results, and so it's basically a dream come true. It's an easy indicator, and it tells you reliably when to buy and sell your shares. So basically what the MACD does is it uses moving averages to determine if the stock price is gaining steam in an upward or downward direction. So we have a video on moving averages. If you haven't seen it, they're pretty simple. All a moving average does is it takes the average stock price for a certain time period and, and draws it out. So if that didn't make sense, that's fine. I'll just draw it out right here. So let's look at this, this point right here. And if you're looking at that, that point is the average price for this stock for the previous 50 days. So about that right there. And you can see the blue line is the entire 50 day moving average line. Uh, so basically right here is showing the average price for these 50 days and so on and so forth. And so all the MACD is doing is it's taking the 12 day exponential moving average, so the average for 12 days, and it's minusing the 26 day moving average from it. That might sound confusing as to why we do that, but you just need to know uh, what it means, not necessarily why we do it. And so the MACD line, it's this line right here, this black one that kind of goes up all there. So the red one is another line we're going to talk about. Black one is MACD. And what it does is it, uh, if it starts to go up, it basically is a good indicator that the stock price is going up. And as you can see, it tends to go up when the price of the stock goes up. But what it basically means is that the stock is starting to gain momentum. It says that, well, over the past 12 days, the price of this stock has started moving up faster than it did in the previous 26 days. So it's starting to gain steam. And the same thing when it goes down, when the MACD goes down, we know that the price of this stock has started to drop faster than it was in the previous 26 days. Therefore, it's starting to gain momentum in the downward direction. And so, the most common way that people use MACD is what's called a signal line crossover. And so the signal line is this red line right here. As you can see, it goes all the way along. And all the signal line is, is it's actually your nine-day moving average. So we've got three different moving averages going on here. But what a signal line crossover is, is it's when your MACD line, so it's when this black line right here, moves over the signal line, which is your 9-day moving average right here. And so what that means is that it's a bullish crossover. So you can see it happening right at this exact spot right here. This is where a bullish crossover occurs. So you can follow it up right about here is when this occurs, right when the stock price is at about $24. And you can see that if you had bought at $24 and then held until you saw the crossover go back under, which would have been right about here, so maybe $28 to $30, you'd have made $6 per share, which is really good. It's about you know 20 to 30 percent increase over a period of less than a month. And uh, what the MACD crossover told us there was that between here and here, this stock is gaining momentum. And when you see it start to do stuff like this back and forth over and over again, you'll typically see the price of the stock, like you can see here, where it kind of just goes up and down and up and down, not necessarily a general trend. But finally, you can see it crosses over really hard again right here. And you can see it have a very steep drop down, meaning it's losing momentum or it's actually gaining momentum in the downward direction. And you can see what the, uh, the stock, price, stock price reflects right there. So this huge dip came after a solid MACD crossover in the bearish direction. And so look at that right there. If, you'd have, if you would have shorted or sold this stock right there, you probably would have done so at about $38. And it crossed back over right here. So follow that up, and we're looking at about maybe $20. And so you could have shorted a stock from $38 down to $20, which is almost uh, 50%. It's a huge gain. And uh, and you can see clearly that all the way along the thing, all the way along there, the MACD has not crossed over again. It, it crossed over in the negative direction or bearish crossover, and it continued along that trend for almost two months. And you could have sold or shorted any time in there, and done pretty well. And then once again, you can see 
that once it crosses over again right here, you could have purchased shares of the stock. So that would have been purchasing at about $18 maybe. And waited again till the next crossover, which is right here. And that followed up probably about $24. Uh, so you probably could have sold it up here and done better, but about $24. So that would have brought you from about $16 to $24. So right here is where you would have purchased. Right here is where you would have sold. And that's simply by following what's called the, the, uh, the crossover, the bullish or a bearish crossover. The second most common way that people will use a MACD crossover is what's called a center line crossover. And this is very simple to see as well. All you're looking for is when this MACD line turns positive. And so when I say turns positive, you can see these numbers right here going from 3 down to negative 4. And so when it turns positive, I'm saying it goes above the zero line. And so once that line gets positive, then we know that our most recent data shows that this stock price is climbing quicker in the past 12 days than it did in the past 26 days. And so it's a bullish, it's a bullish, sorry, it's a bullish sign that the price of this stock is going to rise in the near future. And then similarly, if we see the MACD go into the negative, uh, basically anything down here in this zone, then we know that it's a bearish sign and it's time to sell that stock. And you can see the same thing on this chart that we talked about earlier. If you would have bought while it was in this zone, and then once it started to drop back down to that zero line, sold, and done the same thing right here, as soon as it crossed over, well, you actually wouldn't have made any money there. So that's why it's the second most common way for people to use MACD. Um, but it's, it's a good sign if you're seeing the MACD cross into positive territory and go in a positive direction, it's a good sign that it's time to purchase shares of that stock. One thing that's worth noting is that you can use MACD on a daily, weekly, monthly, or any kind of chart. So we're using stockcharts.com right here, and we're using about a six-month chart. Uh, but you could look at a MACD indicator on a single day, and it'll look very similar to this, and you can day trade using that. You can do it on a week, on a daily, on a yearly. Um, any chart will work. And so MACD is a great indicator in short-term, in medium-term, and in long-term to determine where the price of the stock is going and when to buy and when to sell and a lot of people use it because it's simple and because it's reliable and they can make money off it.